Hi everyone, continuing our learning. Uh, Mishnah Shabbat, chapter 8, we're up to number 5, so uh, hey. Okay, and we're still dealing with the question of uh, different items when uh, you can or cannot uh, carry them. What is the uh, minimum shi'or, the minimum measure that would constitute one being liable for carrying it between domains? Um, and it's different for different things. So we're continuing uh, with a list of uh, other kinds of items and based on what they're for, it has to be an amount that's useful, that's a quality and a quantity that someone would, would want to save um, um, and have a purpose for. Adama kechotam hamartsufin, divri rabbi Akiva. Red clay, enough for the seal of packing sacks, uh, according to Rebbe Akiva. Vachachamim omrim kechotam haigrot, enough for the seal of letters. So uh, Rebbe Akiva's measure is, is larger than the chachamim. The chachamim are saying enough uh, clay in order to make a seal on like a letter, which is much smaller than a seal on what would be like a package, um, shipping something, um, a larger package of something. Okay. So now manure or, or fine sand, enough to fertilize a cabbage stalk, according to Rabbi Akiva. And now the, the sages say, But they say enough to, for a leak. So again, uh, Rabbi Akiva is, is being less strict. The Chachamim are saying a smaller measure would make one liable. Um, uh, in this case, between the different... Uh, manure or, or sand that would be needed for these types of plants based on how much they each take. Okay? Chol hagas kedeli ten al melo chafsid kane kedei la sot kulmos Okay, so let's let's stop there. Chol hagas first. Kedeli ten al melo chafsid So coarse sand enough to put on a full trowel line um, of, of lime. So this is essentially plaster and uh, sand would be mixed in to, to strengthen the plaster. Um, so there would need to be enough of that sand that it would be useful to mix into the plaster and to create plaster that's that's usable. Kane, uh, so now we're dealing with a reed. Kedei la'asot kulmos v'im haya ave o merusas kedei levashel bovetsa kalash bovetsim terufa untuna be'ilpas. Okay, so a reed, uh, enough to make a pen, if it's a normal, thin, long reed. But if it was thick, uh, so not, not useful for a pen, the ink well would be too uh, large, it would be leaky or cracked, so then it's not functional at all as a pen. Um, enough to cook with it the most easily cooked eggs, beaten and put in a stew pot. Uh, so meaning enough, so if you're not going to use the reed for some kind of writing implement, then it's going to be perhaps used to, uh, it's too thick or it's cracked. You're going to use it perhaps for um, lighting a, a little fire. So enough, enough of the, the wood from this reed that you could uh, cook in a, in a little uh, small pot or pan um, uh, an egg that would cook easily. So partially um, cook it sufficiently. So they're trying to make it the minimum amount of cooking in it, probably a very small pot. Um, so whatever the read would need to be that size to, for one to be uh, biblically liable um, for carrying it between domains. Okay, good. We'll continue with uh, Vav with number six um, in chapter eight next week. All the best. Bye.